Alrighty. It's time for the Q&A. Refuse. Oh, hey guys, so this is Kyle here. I've been really busy over the last few couple of days. Um, I meant to do my Q&A on Sunday, but because I've been so busy, I couldn't do it. I mean, Saturday, which is yesterday. Today's Sunday. Um, so I'm going to do um, the Q&A today. Only two people were able to send, uh, only sent me in a Q&A in the past week, which was uh, the Mr. K-Ball fan and, Mark, and the Fort Minor Project. So thank you guys for sending all your questions. And uh, you sent quite a few, so um, I may have to make a second video, a part two, because you guys did send in quite a few just for two people. Um, so starting off with the Mr. K-Ball fan, uh, your questions you have for me are, what do I want to do first when you what do you want to do first when you arrive in South Korea? Take a tour. Um, but yeah, take a tour and um, audition for YG Entertainment, baby JYP too. <laughs> no, I, I seriously do that though. Um, along with just take a tour of the other country. Uh, would you prefer to go to Seoul or Busan? Seoul. Um, Seoul is pretty much like the capital for South Korea as well as it's become a hot um, tourist track for foreigners. They've added so much stuff there now, it's ridiculous. And I heard you can get there now, too, for like a, a cheap price because they can fly out to South Korea, to Seoul. Uh, and then your last question is, who would I say, who would you say as the rest of the year, or is the rest of the year, CM Punk or Austin Aries or other? Uh, well, just between CM Punk and Austin Aries, I have to say Austin Aries. Um, simple being that, Unlike WWE, they pulled the trigger on CM Punk when he got really, really hot. Unfortunately, the conclusion to CM Punk being really, really hot has fell flat. I mean, he's been the champ for like nine months, and he's only defended, he's only made a Bennett one pay-per-view, which was December of last year. 2012 is almost over. So you mean to tell me out of his nine-month reign, he, he, he only made a Bennett one pay-per-view out of his nine-month reign as champion almost a year? That's that's terrible. And then WWE, they changed Punk. They tweaked him. They turned him to a team player. And even though he's a heel again now, um, I think they just they, they they kind of damaged him and took some steam away from him by changing him a lot and having him you know do the GLB, the Triple H, and everything else. As far as Austin Aries, Austin Aries has had a continuous build since the time he came to TNA last year and just climbing up the ranks. And even though he's turned into a baby face, he still is that cocky, arrogant son of a gun personality that he was when he was a heel. So I guess you could really say that nothing's really changed with Austin Aries other than he probably he doesn't cheat now to win. I mean, he gets over people cleanly. But other than that, he still has that same cocky personality, um, which proves my theory in point with WWE with CM Punk was that they didn't have to change Punk, you know, complete babyface and, and tweak him to, you know, a babyface a baby guy because he kept Punk as is. So, um... To me, I think Austin Aries had the better year this year, 2012, than CM Punk. Uh, next to the questions coming in from the Fort Minor Project. Thanks, buddy, for sending your questions. The first question you have for me is, what do I think about WWE 13? Uh, I don't know. I have a mixed feelings about it. I mean, I, I'm excited about it because they have, like, the Attitude Era roster. But looking at it from another, a different perspective, it's like this is WWE's way of just kind of, like, throwing the bone to us fans that miss the excitement and the drama of the Attitude Era, which is why, they, which is why they, I think they're making this Attitude Era theme the game, as well as the Attitude Era DVD that's coming out. I mean, the Attitude Era was like 15, 16 years ago. Why should you take, why, why did it take you this long to come up with an Attitude Era themed video game after all these years? Um, I just really think it's uh, just, just throwing us, you know, our fans that miss those days of the Rock and Austin Era. It's just their way of throwing us the bone just to pacify us, you know, to say that, you know, we're keeping the PG era and all this other stuff. But other than that, um, I'll be looking forward to the game, and I'll definitely pick it up. Your second question for me is, how do you feel about WWE Saturday Morning Slam? Is it a good move? Um, WWE is a marketing company. Uh, I think it's good in terms of, um, you know, it, it reaches kids, it reaches out to kids more, because, you know, Saturday morning cartoons. Um, so it definitely adds some extra fans who might not watch WWE. It'll get them tuned in. However, I think it's bad and stupid that the fact that they've eliminated some of the moves, the moves that like, certain, like the wrestlers can't do certain moves on Saturday Morning Slam, when it's like half the kids anyway probably know the moves anyway. They'll watch a Raw and a SmackDown that, you know, they've seen the, the choke slams and the, the power bombs and all the other different stuff that's banned on Saturday Slam. 
they see it on Raw and SmackDown, so I really don't get what's the point of them banning certain moves for Saturday Morning Slam. So from a business perspective, getting more fans, I, I think it's good, but then again, it's kind of like a waste because it's like, what more, what more, what, what more fan base could you really grasp? I mean, you have a company that's been around for years. You have Raw, which is now extended to three hours. You have SmackDown on Fridays. What more could you really have? I mean, you have superstars. They got NXT. Um, they're gonna have a, a new televised pro uh, product that they're gonna debut on um, on Ion on the Ion Station Network. So it's like, really, how much more? Sh how many more shows could you really put on in publicity that you need? Your third question is: What wrestlers from the past do you think should be world champion that has never been a world champion before in WCW, ECW, and in the WWE and TNA? If you want to include that as well. Um, and WCW, first one that's come to mind that I thought they should have been world champion, Scott Hall. Um, ECW, I really can't think of, of, of any wrestler who I like in ECW that hasn't been a world champion from Robin, no, uh, Robin Dan's from the new ECW, I'm talking about as far as old school ECW, from Sandman to Sabu to Taz, uh, Rhino had it for a minute, Jerry Lynn had it for like a month um, or 30 days, um, Raven, who was like my favorite ECW superstar. So there really hasn't been any superstar in ECW. Maybe Chris Jericho. I would like to say Chris Jericho because Jericho was over um, in, in, in ECW. He was so over. Um, so I'd probably like to say Chris Jericho be ECW champion um, in the original ECW. Um, in WWE, um, wrestler I think should have been in WWE. There are quite a few. Um, I'd say Owen Hart. Um, another one I would say would have to be um, the British Bulldog, Mr. Perfect. Um, the Roddy Roddy Piper is like one of the, at the top of my list, so I think should, a, a superstar that should have been a world champion um, in WWE. I um, can't think of anybody current at the moment this, in this generation. Um, and TNA, uh, one person that comes to my mind, again, um, Christopher Daniels, I think deserves a world title on. And even though another person, he's already won the world title, but since then he's just been diluted, and I think winning the world title would rejuvenate him back up to the main spot, and that's similar with Joe, even though he's already won it once. Um, the first question is, um, who are your favorite singers and actors right now? Well, one of my top favorite actors right now is Tom Hardy. I think he's a phenomenal actor. Um, and just to see how, how far he's come at, and he's made a comeback, considering he had, you know, his alcohol and drug addictions, and see how he made a return and come back with two really good films, like uh, The Dark Knight and Lawless, and some other films before, before those two. Um, so Tom Hardy is probably one of my favorite actors, along with Andrew Garfield, the guy who played uh, Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man in The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, absolutely love Andrew Garfield's work. I think he's a really good actor. Um, he, he has a way of drawing out emotions in whatever character he's playing. So I enjoy his work as well. And your last question is, do you feel, how do you feel about reality shows on TV? Are they worth it to you to watch, and which ones would you watch to give a try? Quite frankly, I heard I hate reality shows because reality shows to me are a cheap way of people who want to be celebrities, who want to be celebrities, get in the limelight, or people that used to be celebrities but now washed up in their yesterday's news trying to get back into the limelight. Um, so I think I, I hate reality TV, and um, it's it, it's scripted and terrible. People say the same thing about wrestling, which is scripted and fake, but um, I just don't like. I hate reality TV. It's it's dumb to me. It really is. Um, as far as reality shows that I watch, I was on watch reality TV shows um, that much. Um, probably one of the ones that I probably had watched like Toy Hunter, um, Toy Hunter. Um, can't think of another one. Uh, one of those uh, UFC. UFC had a, had a reality based uh, TV show. I forgot what it's called. It's called The Ultimate Fighter. I like that. So um, very few uh, reality shows that I do my watch, but that's just a few. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for um, sending in your questions. Hope I answer them to all the best of my abilities. Comment, subscribe, peace.